Heart disease has historically been thought of as a disease of affluence. The basic idea being that wealthier people can afford to be lazy and eat an unhealthy diet. However, the World Health Organization estimates that more than 80% of all cardiovascular disease deaths occur in low and middle income countries. Heart disease is also often thought of as a modern disease, being associated with contemporary food choices and lifestyles. Although there are established links with certain lifestyle factors, heart disease is certainly not something new. In 1911, a great pioneer of paleopathology, Sir Mark Armand Ruffer, described the presence of arterial plaques in Egyptian mummies. Many years later, researchers became intrigued by a sign displayed inside the Cairo Museum stating that ancient Egyptians suffered from heart disease just like present-day humans. To investigate this further, researchers formed the Horus study. This involved a multidisciplinary team of cardiologists, Egyptologists, radiologists, and molecular biologists. During the first stage of the study, using CT scans, the researchers confirmed the presence of atherosclerosis in ancient Egyptian mummies. Then the researchers extended the study to include mummies from three other regions of the world, spanning 4,000 years of human history. Evidence of atherosclerosis was found in individuals from all populations studied. Our ancient ancestors, of course, didn't smoke cigarettes, didn't have fast food, and were probably more physically active than we are today, yet they were still susceptible to the buildup of plaque within arteries.